Good. Just, it's still the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome to another review from me, Matt. The Bearded Berserker. Literally, happy days. Just putting the finishing touches to the review room. Just through there. Cannot wait for that. I hope you guys are keeping safe and well. And thank you. Thank you so, so much for the support I'm getting over there on Instagram at Viking Beard Matt. And here on my Bearded Berserker YouTube channel where I am a man, an old man at that, trying his hardest to help promote, support and advertise only small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there, not huge, massive, faceless brands, which I'm not particularly keen on. And let's face it, they've got a shed ton of money that they can go into promoting, marketing and advertising themselves which is why more often than not these smaller brands do tend to sort of like hit the social media sites because it's free advertising for them and who could blame them which is why I set this up to kind of do what I can to help and thank you for joining me for another review today if you are one of those people that are expecting flashy graphics intros outros and all that monarchy you ain't going to be getting it here um, just literally got my iPad, so I've got no real way of kind of editing my videos or anything. So everything I do is one complete take, upload it straight onto YouTube. And yeah, so really cool, this moving and everything. I'm glad it's done now. I'm absolutely cream cracked. Literally just about finished it all yesterday. Got the other place sorted and old place sorted. And yeah, new review room coming on nicely. But anyway. This afternoon, oh, this morning, because, yeah, it's quarter to twelve. This morning's review has been very kindly sent through from Zhu Spiced Rum. Uh, very kindly sent me through a couple of samples to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. As always, links down below in the description box. Please show them some support, give them a help, give them a hand, give them a follow. Uh, this arrived a few days ago. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for your support from Siren or Kieran, however you want to pronounce it. Some people say Siren, some people say Kieran. Harry and Enrico. And so that came through. Sharing fortune and harmony. You could definitely do with some harmony at the moment. Choose spiced rum, a spiced rum for the adventurous. Well, I certainly am adventurous. Embrace your craft, embrace our craft blend of Chinese five spice coupled with a refreshing infusion of bamboo. So yeah, I do like a drink. I like to sit there. I've now got a little shed out the back so I can put my ashtray in there and smoke a pipe and chill out at the end of the day with a nice glass of something. Two drinks that I, or alcoholic drinks that I really do like is whiskey and I like rum. Um, been rum drinker for years and years. Recently, over the past few years, got more and more into whiskey. Um, but yeah, I like them both just about as equally. I like the kind of the peatiness that you get and the smokiness that you get with the whiskey. But I also tend to like the sweetness that you also get from a rum. So this is the product that they sent through. They sent me through three of them very very kindly thank you so much juice space rum sharing fortune and harmony nice to see something different because i've gone past that those days now when i was a kid and sort of like or when i was a teenager many many years ago and kind of getting out and getting smashed and stuff like that i now enjoy a drink more than i kind of appreciate it more as opposed to trying to get legless they do these ones, uh, which are eight pound for the 50 mil, and they also do the 40 pound for the regular bowl. These are only just started. So, color-wise, golden ambery sort of color. 50 mil juice spice rum. There's one of those QR code things if you want to scan it if it works. Uh, distilled in the UK for Juice Spirits Limited Unit Five per box. Manchester, please drink responsibly. I'm too old not to drink responsibly. Uh, tells you inside there. They've also sent through some mixers for me to try with them. Uh, we've got Fentman's Curiosity Cola. we got a Fentman's Ginger Beer. And also a Fentman's Tropical Soda. I've never tried the Tropical Soda one. Pineapple with botanical extracts. But thank you very much for sending these mixers with it. But whether you know or don't know, 
I always have whiskey and rum straight. I know you can make loads of different rum punches and stuff like that and cocktails and stuff. I like a nice straight drink. So I have my glass. Not got any ice yet because it hasn't frozen because the freezer's only just come from next door. And so, yeah, no ice. Nice the fact that it's glass bottles. I do like the bottle, I like the packaging, I like the sort of influence on it. Um, now I've tried all different, all, all sorts of spiced rums over the years, Sailor Jerry's, um, Captain Morgan spiced loads and loads of other ones as well. First time I've ever tried one that um, a craft blend of embrace a craft blend of Chinese spice spice coupled with a refreshing infusion of bamboo. So straight off the bat, definitely getting a five spice sort of hint from it. Cinnamon, almost a cloviness as well. There's a colour of it. Yeah, there's an, there's an aniseed, there's a clove, there's cinnamon to it. Definitely five spice, and it's quite warming as well. On the initial swallow, it's quite warming. Good one for a winter's night. This would be really good. I know I've just said that I don't really drink cocktails and stuff, but this would be nice as a winter drink, as well as just a nice sipping drink. It's not one of those spiced rums or rums that is just kind of knocked back and get plastered on because there is too much flavour there. Definitely getting aniseed through now. You kind of get that initial warmth and hit from a cinnamon with kind of notes of clove in there and then an aniseed and now, well, star anise actually, isn't it? Star anise that's in five spice. And there is a cleanness as well of I don't know whether that's the infusion of bamboo that they're putting in there. But it, so you kind of get all this massive tumble of flavours and going on with the fire spice. Now that's kind of leaving, I'm getting that aniseed, but there's a very nice, clean finish to it. it it's not just kind of overload your mouth and senses with fire spice and then that's all you taste. There is a very, very nice clean back taste to this. It's definitely what I would class as, I know you have to be over 18, 21 to drink alcohol anyway, but it's a very sophisticated rum, this. It's not just a, stand, a bog standard white rum, dark rum, spiced rum. A lot of unique flavors. This would go extremely well after going for sort of like some Asian food or anything, Chinese would probably work well with Indian as well, um, Thai. This is completely different to any sort of rum that I've ever tasted in the past. Yeah, like I say, you get that initial hit and warmth of the cinnamon, cloves, then afterwards, yeah, that heat from the cinnamon, then afterwards it kind of dies down and you just get a nice clean sort of finish to it. So it's not a claggy one. I can see it would work extremely well with cola. Rum cola does go well if you kind of want that caramelly sweetness to it. Ginger beer would be quite nice. Why don't you go with a bit of ginger beer? Because, excuse me, bear with me for a second. I've got to I'm stuck to the chair now. Got to find me bottle opener. Or is that twist hat? Cat no, it is a bottle opener. Bottle opener. No, I'm back. Let's try it with the ginger beer because that would be quite nice with a bit of warmth to it. All live. Stir it with my pen. What do? No, no, definitely not with the ginger beer, in my opinion. 
For some people, yes, but I think, in my opinion, that hit from the I forgot what I was saying. That hit from the cinnamon now is kind of too overpowered with the ginger uh, from the ginger beer, which makes it too hot and spicy. It's all right; it adds a sweetness to it, but no, not for me. Yeah, to me that's just killed it completely. So yeah, I think it would go well with the lemonade. I think it would go well uh, with the cola. As far as anything else, I think the star of the show is the actual spice rum. And it's a shame to put it with something else with a couple of cubes of ice in there. Beautiful, could not fault it at all. Might work well in a coffee. Don't know, I'm not gonna put coffee in this as well but I highly rate it. If you were looking for a different spiced rum, if you're having friends round, once lockdown ends, if we were allowed friends back round, if I ever see anyone ever again apart from the wife, um, I think it would go extremely well with a nice Indian, Chinese, Thai, Vietnamese meal. It would go extremely well with those, the flavors. If you're looking for a spiced rum that's completely different, and I mean different, if you love that sort of five spice oriental Asian kind of twist with the cleanness of the bamboo, this is fantastic. And I really actually rate it. Um, I did do a rum review last year for God's Own. They were really good as well because they're doing some different ones. And yeah, Shoe Spice Rum and God's Own Rum, really, really nice. Um, No, definitely not with the ginger beer. Not for me, but the rum itself gets a huge massive thumbs up to the point of I'm gonna get myself a big bottle, because uh, I actually like it that much, to go in the review room, and that I can sit there doing my reviews and have a tipple and chat to you guys about shit. Thank you so, so much to Jus Spiced Rum for sending this through. I've been following them for ages on Instagram since they kind of first started. Uh, coming out in around about November time. Really, really rate it. If you're looking for something different, definitely give them a uh, look. Uh, I think they're only limited, so I saw on the website, to around about 48 bottles left at the moment. But absolutely stunning, stunning work from Jus Spice Rum. Thank you so, so much to Kieran, Harry, and Erico. Erico? 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 Everico. Whoever, thank you so, so much to send this through. Gets top, top marks from me. And I hope you've enjoyed this little review this morning, nearly this afternoon. Um, anybody out there that does need any help, support, promoting, or whatever, any reviews, then please get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you guys. Have a fantastic afternoon. Wherever you are, whatever you're getting up to, keep on taking care of each other. Keep on helping, supporting each other. And above all, keep on loving each other. Links down below to Juice Spice Rum. Give them a follow. Have a great day, guys. Take care of yourselves. Thank you.